I feel like GG Mon needs a new form. Like, GG Mon's basically the caretaker Digimon, right? I feel like he should have like a Ultra or something. Because he looks after the baby Digimon. He basically helps guide the Digidestined. He's pretty much like the staple of filling that role in pretty much every Digimon game. It'd be cool if we actually got like a new form for Digimon after all this time, I feel like. It would definitely be great. Right. So now I need to decide about what I'm going to be doing going forward here. Hmm. So, vaccine team of level 50s. Very nice. So, I've got these three, which will do greatly for my vaccine team. Now, Etamon is by far one of the greatest int ultimates in the game at the moment so 100% coming along same with Lady Devimon Lady Devimon is the Lithmon in the future so that could be my virus team And then again, there's also Misty Mon, who can become Dynamon in the future. Hmm. Say we remove that 27. Remove the 33. Wow. You're actually really weak in comparison. Your stats are not that great. Yeah, I'm sorry, Misty Mon, you're being left behind. You're just really not there stat wise. I Me, mean, you got some decent defensive bulk though, to be fair. I will say that much. You're alright defensively. But offensively, you're really far behind. So, yeah, Mist Misty Mon is being left behind. Skull Mirror, great data type. So, Blend Talmon's great as well. So, I heard that Piximon was like an amazing data type months back. How are you stat wise? 551, five, remove that as 520. If we ignore the int increase. You're actually really far behind in stats, aren't you? Again, you're a bulky Digimon rather than an offensive one. You're around the same strength as the Digitama Mom. Okay, so did you summon one is very nice. I've used one before my old character. But I think I've kind of got everything figured out now. So Talmon's definitely coming along. Talmon is very fast. On top of being a very fast Digimon, Talmon can petrify foes. So for a data Digimon, definitely coming along. I don't need my virus team just yet. The most important ones to level for me right now are my data and my vaccines. Just purely because of the fact that I need my data to farm the, uh, what do you call it? The Vmon for the recipe for the peach cubes. The guy comes from Bamamon. Uh, it's time as classic. An amazing theory would be that all female type Digimon one become Bamamon. Once they get up in their years and mail to Gigi Mon, I can totally see that. Yeah. True, true. 
But yeah, we are going to make our way back to the desert right now. And we're going to start farming some... Uh, what do you call it? Some of these uh, Vidramons. Because I want the recipe from them. Then I can use my vaccine team against the Dark Tyranomons. Should definitely be great. There you are. Let's see how well this goes and see whether we have to grind a little bit more first. Now... That's 100. Hmm... 70 plus 14. It's about 90 but can set them on fire. Tarmon's obviously faster. And petrification is very nice. For you, I could turn you to stone with W. Or I can go for the more damage you move. We'll see. Very nice. No recipe yet. We will get the recipe off you. That's for sure. Actually, no, 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 no. I want to not use my steel move on my Merrimon because that cancels petrification that Talmon can inflict. I learned that lesson from my old character. about to go down. There we go, petrification, let's go. Okay, we got the recipe, I think. One way to find out. There we go, we got the recipe. A. Okay. That's a lot of items, though. That is a lot of items. Oh. That's irritating. The Vigemon horns, whatever these are. Eesh. Tremogemon horn. Horn from something else. So, horns from creatures, essentially. Is what's needed there. Roger that, but at least I got the recipe now. I 
I believe there's a better recipe, though. I just don't know where to get it from. Well, that'll do for the time being. We got the recipe, at least. You're the bulky one, so you go in front. Yes. Very good. Now, I suppose we'll continue doing some quest lines. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, we will actually, yeah. I'm good when it comes to the Dark Tower Animon, because they're good till 65 for grinding on. Stop running from me. The grind is so annoying. Yeah. It can be, yeah. Ah, oh, I completely messed up there. Could have sworn I charmed this guy, but he seems to have just like stopped being charmed immediately. The stream's going well. A good chat with people and everything like that. Um, got some new ultimates today. Got me a new Mega Digimon today in uh, getting me. Um, Rosemon, which is great. So yeah, the stream's going well. Got quite a lot done, which is good. How are things in your end? Come back here. Hey. Hey, hey. Piece of shit. All good, just catching up with YouTube. Nice, nice. Love you too. Thank you. I will have a great stream. Thank you. Appreciate it. Still no English. No, the game's still in Korean. It's going to be that way for like a year or two. The game literally just entered full release in Korea recently. Right. I'm surprised the amount of people that keep commenting that there's still no English game yet. Like, it's... Generally, you know, considering like the game's been made in Korea, you can't be expecting it to be like instantly here. They're gonna focus on the native language for the most part for a while, and then they'll most likely change in the future to make either a global version or there'll be a translation released for it. But I'll, that takes a while. They've got priorities other than changing it to English. 
which is, you know, making the game. I, I don't know. Maybe they might put a patch out for it. I really don't know. If they don't end up making a patch, I'm sure probably at some point a fan will make like a fan translation or something like they usually do for the games that are in different languages. Your baby Digimons are dead because of this update. I'm sorry to wear, I'm really sorry to wear. I guess that's because you were struggling to access the game due to uh, the VPN thing. That's my assumption. Use a free VPN, that's what I did. I couldn't afford a VPN either, so I just um, use a free one. I'm not paying for a VPN just to play a game. There's no way I'm doing that. Which would I recommend? Honestly, if you go to my Discord, there's one that's mentioned in there. Um, the link's in the description of this uh, stream. Can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but it works. That's why I use. You don't need a VPN to actually play, you just need a VPN to log into your account and access the website. Like, once you access the website using the VPN and you've logged into your account, as long as you don't close down the window and you leave it open, um, you can then launch the game, disable your VPN and play. That's what I did. You're very welcome. But I was able to help. But, uh... I wouldn't be thanking me. It's actually somebody in my Discord who actually, uh... Gave me that VPN. If it weren't for them, I don't know what I would have done. Because I can't afford one. So I understand the pain of not being able to get on the game. Uh, due to thinking that you need to buy a VPN. Because some people even have a VPN and still can't access uh, access the site. Because apparently they're banning certain VPNs. From my understanding, what I've heard. But right now this one works and I hope it continues to work. Why the hell they've done this, I really don't know. But it's so stupid. Oh, we, we allowed it so foreigners can now purchase grounds on our game. And then we IP block the game. A few weeks back, we allowed you to make an account for the game. <laughs> it's, it's so counterintuitive. Like, how do you blunder everything up that badly? I don't understand.
I mean, some people are saying apparently the reason why they've done it is because of legal reasons or something. Due to licensing or something. But... Why have they allowed us to join in the first place then without needing to have a Korean phone number and all that? Why have they now had an international payment method on top of it all? Right. It just doesn't make much sense at all. Eh, yeah, that'll do. Pew pew. Kapow. Heaven's Gate. Okay. Grr. Okay, this is ridiculous. Stop making me chase you around. Yes, beat your buddy up. The charm only really works for one turn. Whenever a wild Digimon uses that on me, it lasts for like five turns. Like, what the frick? Oh, I don't flip in now. Maybe because I need to level the skill up a bit. Still annoying though. Uh, I can't pick that up because I have a full inventory. Oh dear. Well. Fine. Really gotta be like this and you'll be like this. Love the item. Okay, purple cube. Sure. I need to start my inventory line, clearly. No, it'd help. Crafting. Because. There is a certain event item which you can currently create, and. This thing.
Boom. Still a problem, though. Honestly, I'm going to do that, and that may seem counterintuitive getting rid of event items, but at the same time, I am, I didn't complete all the daily items on one of the days, that's why I have them left over and I can't use them, so, yeah, it's one of those. But, uh, I hate how much I have to bloody chase these fucking things. Like, why do they have to run so far? My food is going to be ready soon. So, I think when my food's ready, I'll probably end the stream. Let me a bit of a break for a bit. So I've been streaming for several hours. And uh, having a little bit of a break would be good. I got what I needed out of this stream. We got some new water mitts. We got four new water mitts today. We got a mega Digimon today. Like, we got a lot done today. So, I think it'll be a good point to end the stream on when my food's ready. Um, I'm going to might stream again a little bit later for an hour or two. But I still have to do more side content. And at least that way I can complete, uh, keep my title and my stream related to basically what I'm actually doing. Because I am chopping up the streams and turning them into episodes. For a playthrough of the video for those who can't sit there for like an 8 hour stream, you know? Um... So, keeping the uh, things relevant to what I'm actually doing would be best. Cheers, mate. It was a good stream. We'll grind a bit more before going to play some other game. Congrats again for your new Mega Runnermates. Thank you, Nero. Appreciate you stopping by. Thank you for having a conversation with me and being there for the stream. Really do appreciate it. Hopefully, I'll see you around sometime. And uh, good luck with going through your uh, leveling with your uh, level 60 Digimon. And getting through the story. I think I'll finish this quest and then... Uh, yeah, probably call it. For now. You're very welcome. Yeah, charm only works for one turn. I guess I need to level the skill to get more use out of it. Mm. That's interesting and annoying. I don't want to waste ultimate cubes on a skill that doesn't do any damage. I forget who Monzaemon turns into. Monzaemon turns into somebody. I just don't remember off the top of my head. Turn into Lilithmon according to redigitized. 
Hmm. Yeah, Lilith Mon, Minerva Mon, Shin Mon Zaymon. Shin Mon Zaymon. Okay. Hmm. Not really much info on where, so. Digimon Reference Book, November 25th, 2022. So that's recent, then. That's a recent form for. Maybe it's something to do with the remake of uh, the Digimon Adventure anime. Minerva Mon, fair enough. Uh, Minerva Mon is. Ah, okay, you, yeah. Okay. Fair enough. We'll see. Could potentially be uh, an interesting Digi. And thank you, Sukumon, for running right in front of me so I could go into a fight immediately without having to chase you. I really do appreciate that. Made things a lot better. A lot easier on me. Yeah, it's, it'd be interesting to see what I can get out of this Monday month in the future. Funnily enough, I've never really been interested in Monday Mon. As a Digimon that much. So it's a cool Digimon, I'm not getting me wrong. It's never really appealed to me. But I end up like finishing the game using the Monday Mon in my Digimon World 1 playthrough that I did this year. Well, last year, sorry. Um, I ended up playing it again for the first time in 20 odd years. And that was the Digimon I ended up finishing the Digimon World Adventure with. The Digimon World 1 with. And, uh. Funny enough, we, uh. Are using one now? But that's that quest taken care of. Finally. Thirty K plus an experience potion. Very nice, very nice. I definitely need to do some clearing of my inventory though. Definitely. Nine thousand. Eh. Fair enough, fair enough. I think I'll hold on to some XP potions for now. Um, But yeah, I think I'm going to end the stream here, guys. I got quite a lot done today. Four ultimates, a Mega Digimon. Um, I'll probably stream later, no promises. I may stream for an hour or two later. We'll try and farm some crafting materials from the Dot Tyranomon for the sake of loving my crafting because I believe I need like two more um, to be able to make these. Yes, I think so. Don't quite remember. But that would be how I love my crafting anyway. Uh... Yeah, because Dark Tournament definitely drops these. The USBs I can get from Final Valley area. By fighting the Flymon around here, so. Yeah. 
yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what I'm gonna end up doing. But yeah, thank you very much guys for stopping by the stream. If you have enjoyed the stream, don't forget to like the video. It really helps me out and helps grow my channel. Uh, thank you very much guys for stopping by. It's been really great having a conversation with you all. And I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to come watch somebody like me just playing the game and working on some uh, Ultimate Digimon and stuff like that. So it's been absolutely amazing guys. Thank you very much. Hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.